Welcome back to Garage Talk. Uh, today, we have the one and only racetrack Rob uh, with shitty coolers here. Am I saying that right? Is it, is it, is it shitty or is it shitty coolers? You said shitty coolers. Okay, good. There have been people uh, that have asked. People pronounce it, right? Yeah, there's, there's been people that have hit it with kind of like that. Um, I know you guys probably don't want to hear about Yeti too much. They, they hit it with that Yeti like ending, like shit, like shitty. It's like, no, I'm pretty sure it's shitty. So I'm glad to know that that's that. We got Dale We got Dale with us today. So Drew is on hiatus. He's missing again. Uh, if you have any milk cartons at home, you'll probably see his face on them. So just be aware, be alert, okay? Haven't got the Amber Alert yeah, yet. But. We all know he's cooking up something for the weekend, so. Yeah, something for sure. I like your backdrop, Dale. Yeah, it's, it's fucking backwards, but, I mean, it's, it is what it oh, is. That's cool. Is it, it's, it's backwards on mine. Is it backwards on you guys? No, no it's eight, eight up front, three in the back. Dude, mine it is literally backwards. Like they are going the opposite direction on my screen. Technology. But that works. That works. I thought you, I thought you meant I thought you meant Dale's first. I mean, yeah. it was backwards. It's supposed <laughs> to be the other way around. Because yeah. I think I think dad was supposed to come before son. So that's how normally the things work in life. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and obviously Dale, Dale's first garage talk. So that's big. And then this is our this is our first guy that we've got that's just kind of around the NASCAR community is you know not a driver kind of like doing some of the same things that we're doing he's out there repping a brand and he's just getting down and dirty at these racetracks and literally like the name racetrack Rob is like the perfect thing because I, you're just you're everywhere you're at all these tracks so like the, t- take us back to the beginning Rob when when did when did you get start working with Shady Coolers when when did you become racetrack Rob First ever race I actually went to was back in 2013, uh, Michigan. So it's probably, you know, well, I mean, I went to race all the time, but my first actually full out weekend, I went out, camped out, you know, with the, had the full experience. I just turned 21. So I basically went full board that weekend and just went all over the campgrounds and, you know, boozing, drinking, and obviously had a little too much sometimes, but just running it, I would just start meeting people. I would just meet just one person I camp next to and then next year I come camp next to them and then on and then on and then on and basically i just every year i started going other race another race another race another race, race where now like these past couple of years i know I've, i go at least quarter three quarter you know quarter honestly sometimes third of the races nascar wise at least you know yeah. obviously in that in that process i've met you i've met other met other so many other people i talk to now we're like we're all best friends and it's just it's all come together now we're all obviously with me being shitty and you, you start up garage talk, how big it's getting. It just gets kind of collaborated to one big thing, you know? Yeah, for sure. It becomes like a, it's just a melting but I, pot. But the, the thing is, I didn't, I didn't make the nickname. The guys actually made the nickname. I actually had never went by that until they started calling me like, yeah, you're like racetrack rhymes. You're always at the racetrack. All right. I get it. I mean, so I kind of went with it. Yeah, it works. It's probably, it, probably, probably similar, some, probably something similar to you, obviously, because you started going to race. It's like, man, this guy's always out, but you know, the races or if you have, Past. He's like he's always in the garages with the drivers. It's like funny, man. You know? yeah. I was talking to somebody the other day about the whole garage guy thing. Like literally, we, we started as a fantasy football podcast, and it was just because I would hang out with my buddy in his garage and we'd watch football. And now with NASCAR, it works so much better. Uh, and so it's like, yeah, like yeah. now it's just like, oh, it just the correlation. Like it should have been a NASCAR podcast from day one, you know. So it's yeah. uh, it, it, but yeah, it's it's always cool to meet the new people and to meet people out of the tracks doing stuff and, and representing. So you were so you've been going to races since before you started working with shitty coolers. Oh yeah, I mean, I the first ever time I was at a race race track, I didn't I didn't actually didn't, I didn't actually didn't go to races. Because the track I actually lived near, you had to buy season tickets to go there. My parents wouldn't buy the season tickets. They would just, so they would just take me to practice. So and that was Chicago and Speedway back in Juliet. So once once every summer, because I only raced there once every summer, I'd just go there for practice day, you know, qualifying. And I was just – obviously, I always wanted to go to the race, but my parents wouldn't take me. But then when Chicago then stopped doing season tickets, we could actually buy them individually. I had, I had just got my driver's license. I was 16. I was like, I'm going to the race. So I bought tickets to that race that weekend. I was, I was like, yeah, this is awesome. Like being at the actual race, not practice. I mean, that's fun, but to actually be at the race and watch them go around 200 times for some cause. You know, 
That was what, but, but see, I only went to individual. My actual first weekend of a race in his mission. I was, you know, doing the Friday, Saturday, Sunday camp and whole, the whole experience, you know. That's a whole different animal. That's obviously what I've done this year, too, dude, in uh, Miami. Like, I, you know, obviously, I was just at Bristol, Atlanta. And then, obviously, I'm going to be up a few in Dega. That'll be a fun weekend. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know about Dega. I may try to get there for a day, but we, uh, we're we actually kind of holding okay. back. So, not going to be in Dega, and that's that's breaking here. As far as I know right now, we're probably oh. not going to be hitting Dega. Yeah. But I may be there on Sunday. Oh, well, I don't think it was. I don't. I don't think it was announced. But obviously, you know, yeah, it's so. announced here. See, you're part of a big show now, Rob. <laughs> it's a big announcement here. It's, it's a Rob. sad one, but it's there. With a name like Racetrack Rob, so the the Michigan background is cool because I've heard Michigan is like an insane underrated party for a NASCAR race. With a name like Racetrack Rob, oh, it- is there a favorite racetrack that you have now that it seems like you've visited? Uh, a bunch of racetracks over the past 8, 10, 15 years? Um, definitely Talladega still. That's been the best party I've been to. It's a clean race, but it's, it's totally understandable. Definitely. It, it's hard to top hard to top that one. Um, How close is Michigan, Michigan to Dega? I've had a lot of fun. Uh, as far as partying goes. 10, 11 hours. No, I know the time. As far as partying. I know the distance. Okay. It's like, yeah, get um, your GPS out, Rob. Right, we need to it's, right, it's right up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what what's the major differences? Uh, oh man. So I mean it's, um I think it's just the people. I mean the and I hard to I mean it's hard to explain. It's a, there's a different type of party crowd down there compared up here, but up here, what's awesome up here though is obviously when it's open the border. You have all the Canadian fans that come down, and they they only you know that's their closest racetrack, and they're just as hardcore fans as we are. So Canadians right. love the party. So you have that crowd. That's plus. interesting. Obviously, us, us people from Michigan, you know, we like the party too. So you just get you combine those two crowds, especially in the infield, because in the infield they have a party section in turn three, or they get rowdy over there in turn three. They straight up dedicated a party section. Turn three at Michigan. Yeah. Wow, incredible! So we got to get to Michigan. Yeah, that's that's. Tell, tell, tell the, the Boulevard, you know, right? Michigan's turn three. Every, every track, every you know, party is it's like Watkins Glen, the party track. I have not yet there, gone there yet, but for a lot of good things about Watkins Glen, so that's definitely my to do list this year, too. That's, a, that's a big bucket list one for me as well. Uh, I've never been to a road course race, first of all. Second of all, I've heard those same exact rumblings about how Watkins Glen is another uh another big time party zone so that's that that must be a fun one to go to but the deal with michigan i've heard about over the years and it's interesting to hear that perspective i didn't even think about canada uh canadian fans coming down so oh, that, oh, that yeah. definitely makes a different element there uh, yeah I've had, I've, had, I've had good um i've had good experiences with that because like one of the races i went to um i was in the stands and this canadian guy just comes down and he, he had a full rack of beer and he's just like hey I'm just handing out beers to take a beer. I'm like, all right, sure. It's so he's the nicest people. They really are. Like, all right. You gotta love people like that. Oh yeah. Free beer. Oh, I've okay. met a ton of people from all I over the, sure. the world at Talladega, man. So like I've met a lot of Canadians at Talladega. I've met Russians at Talladega, like people from Russia. Oh, Russians. Just like, I've, I've met them too. I'm, yeah. Some just like you're, you're for a race car. And I'm just like, that's fucking kick ass. Like you've literally flew to Alabama from Russia. Like that is just not something you hear every day. So it's like, you know, it, it's cool to see like, like how widespread, but that's what they said. They said, there's no party on earth like Talladega. And so that speaks waves. And like, you know, Talladega has got to, they got to do what they got to do to put that on their backs, man. Like the years, I just, I just see this festival one day, just dirty Dega and just like days of just, just shenanigans just full on to add to the already well, well, super hype well, shenanigans. So well, Tal, 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 got, I don't know if you've been, I don't know if you've been there yet is North, the North. That's the, if you really want to party, you go up there. Geico North. Yeah. We know about Geico North. Okay. All right. Rob, have you, <laughs> right, cut you off. Have you ever been to Indianapolis uh, in, in yes. NASCAR or IndyCar for the 500? Both. Uh, both. I go, I go to Indy 500 every year, and then I went to the Brickyard 
back in 2019, I think it was. It was, it was a double, or maybe in 18. It was a double header weekend where they ran the Xfinity and Cup on the same day. I'm, yeah. I, 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 I forgot what. I forgot what it was 18 or 19. And I mean, I liked it, but IndyCar was better. 100%. Oh, it's not even close. <clears throat> as big of a NASCAR fan as I am, um, and I've been going to Indianapolis for about 10 years now, NASCAR, NASCAR first, and over the past six or seven years, IndyCar. I go, I, and I plan on being back at the 500 this year because it mm-hmm. is, in my opinion, I think it's actually a little more rowdy than Talladega. And we usually oh, go yeah. for a full week. Oh so, yeah! Indy, if, Indy if you if you do the two weeks, insane. It is. If you insane. do the two weeks, because obviously you, especially Friday, you have Friday, you have Carb Day, Saturday you have the Legends Day, and Sunday's obviously the big race. Plus, they have the Snake Pit, you know, concerts. So you have a concert going on inside of the race with yeah. three hundred thousand people there. Yeah. See, I've it's, never done Indy, but I've heard the one thing I know about that race is the Snake Pit, and like I know Skrillex played oh, it a couple yeah. years back. And I dude, if I could have been there, like, I already know how this would have went. Like, obviously, like, like at, at a NASCAR race, I'm way more in tune to want to sit there and watch it down. Like, I'm sure it'd be exciting as hell to watch IndyCar race. But you tell me something like Skrillex is in the infield, you know, I'll find something big to stand on so I can be in the, in the middle of the party. I just, I just love big ragers. And then yeah. kind of like look up and be like, okay, who's in, who's in first, you know? So, yeah, dude, I just, I just like racing yeah. and music together are just – amazing i don't know like I, I feel like these drivers like if they didn't have to communicate so much like i just always used to think that like these guys got to have like a headphone in or something because like when you just put a song on like a good song and you get behind the wheel of a car it just it changes something it changes the element of it you're just kind of like sucked into it in a different form yeah. but maybe these guys out there on the tracks have that already what's crazy about like rob said and this weekend is so stacked because they stack up a rock concert with a great lineup, they stack a country concert with a great lineup, and then you have the Snake Pit, which is EDM primarily. I saw, I think I, I've seen uh, Action Bronson, who's a rapper. He was there one year Love back action. in uh, yep. seventeen, maybe. He sucked, but uh, it's it's cool because they have <laughs> they have so many. They they appeal to different audiences, and it's another way to bring people inside the racetrack who may not particularly care about racing. So while you have a race going on. Uh, at seven in the morning, you have an EDM concert that starts that goes from 7 a.m. all the way to the end of the race. And we our seats are in turn three. So we sit and just watch this crowd and fire keep popping up every 10 minutes, like the stage. I mean, it's just it's absurd. And there's this funny because you oh, watch yeah. ambulances just swarm in and swarm back out. <laughs> While a race is going especially, on, Mike. Especially, that, I, I forgot. I forgot what year it was, but the one year it was like ninety-seven degrees, and like everyone, everyone there is totally wasted. You know, because obviously in the snake pit, you can bring coolers in there, so you can bring a thirty oh, it, rack in there. It's not good just, enough. You're just, you're just going, you're going. And it's ninety-seven degrees. There's cars going on. Yeah, people are falling like flies. Obviously. Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, <laughs> I can remember. I can remember one of those years. I think it was. It may have been 2018 or 2019. One of those two years, I do remember the temperature was just oh, it was just like it was like 97 degrees. And there, yeah. there, like you said, there's literally people in the snake pit dropping like flies. Because what we usually do is we get we get there at 7 a.m. and we stay until the race starts. And when the race starts, I'm going to my seat to watch that race. But yeah. We have some like nah, uh, I'm staying in the snake. Pit. Yeah, we stay in a party. How security has to be so tight though, because I'm sure that people just get completely inebriated. Has anybody ever tried to like run onto the fucking racetrack? Oh, they, I don't think oh, they, they used to back in the times. But back in the, back I'm gonna go streaking on this racetrack with 250 yeah. fucking mile an hour cars on it. Like, this sounds smart. Like, yeah, no, it's too, I yeah. think it's too hard. I think it's too hard to get there. I think it's too hard. Security's to get gotta be tight. Yeah, security is pretty tight at Indy. I mean, it's the largest one-day sporting event on the planet, and that is a fact. People don't know that, but uh, like we said, it's like 300, 350, 400,000 people in one place at one time. So I've got to go. So I've got to go. So I'm putting this on my, my me to be a better uh, racetrack connoisseur like you, Rob. I'm putting this on the list. I'm going to do what I have to do to make sure that I, that I get to start trailing them out. Do you know your number count? Uh, how many races you have been to now uh, since since you've started with Shitty and till today? Like, how many races have you visited total? Um, 
I mean, I can I can rattle them off. I, I mean, obviously, I've been to Michigan, been to Bristol, Daytona, Iowa, Gateway, Chicago, and Chicago, Atlanta. Um, Texas. I know I'm. Is that eight? I'm feeling stupid. I know. I'm, oh, Charlotte, Charlotte. Nine. Um, I guess I have done more though. Now, Did you say Talladega Dega. already? Um, no. So Talladega. I, I was about to say. I didn't think you said Dega. So that's ten already. So that, that's yeah. that's already enough races to fill up both of human hands. Two human Miami, hands. Miami. Miami. There we go. More. Yeah, Miami. So that's eleven. Um, but see, that's that's like NASCAR. Like drag races have been at least four or five different tracks. Uh, I put the Kokomo for you know dirt, oil for dirt. Everywhere, just um, everywhere. Like I could say, it. I mean, I do, yeah. I do dirt bike races too. So I've been I've been the Indy for dirt. He's legit, right? Yeah, I'm you're legit racetrack. Right dirt, dude. Yeah. So I'm you not are. just NASCAR, NASCAR, you know, I'm just, but I mean, that's my favorite of the motor sports, but like, I just, I like it all. It's got a motor, it's got a motor, either wheels or on a boat and it goes fast. I'll watch it. Hell yeah. You go to boat races? You ever been to a boat race? I have not yet, but I would definitely, I've watched it on TV. But I was a big Hydro Thunder kid, so I've always wanted to go to a boat race. Yeah, I used to watch that. You guys got any arcade games in there? You should get Hydro Thunder at, at the shitty headquarters. No, we have a stage, but that would be arcade. Arcade would be sweet though. Especially so you, had, especially if they had Daytona, Daytona, well, what, 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 Daytona? Oh, what's the name of that? They, you know that, that Daytona um, arcade game? What's, Thunder? Is it? Oh yeah, yeah, NASCAR Thunder. I yeah, it's a. Well, it's that arcade game. Uh, I, I know what you're talking about. It's, I don't, I it's like say in Thunder, every arcade. But... It's not that. Not- it's like in every arcade. It's like an old school. It's an old school game. It's I think it's just EA NASCAR. I think it's just like it's like a yeah, you have like a big that. bench that you sit on and drive. Yep. Yeah, yeah. dude. They they have yeah, one for sale. Like a racing seat. Yeah, they have one for cruising world. Maybe oh. I don't know. There's all kinds hey, of them. They're, they're yeah, great. It's cruising NASCAR or something. Yeah, there's different. Yeah, but you get. What I'm trying to say like one of those this little arcade systems where you race. Oh yeah, and yeah. I, Sim- simulation. A sim rig, I mean, a sim rig would be pretty awesome. It just wouldn't be nostalgic. Like we're talking. I try, yeah, I tried the sim racing. I'm not that good. I have a long way to go. I'm good at good at video games, not good at sim racing. Uh, wrecked, I wrecked like somebody I like, standing I, they still. Have, they had, they had um at, every at Bristol back in nineteen, I think eighteen too. They they brought someone would bring a um, i racing rig there out in the outside you know vending area. I, I hopped in once and I got the tenth fastest lap of that day. Like I don't even use I don't even use i racing. That's awesome. But yeah, I haven't tried race. Daytona when you, when or Daytona. When, when you get in that corner, when you get no, I'm saying Bristol. When you get in that corner, in Bristol, the old rear end wants to step out, so you got to step like throttle in to get get in there too hard. You're looping around. I so I remember like, at uh at Indianapolis. Like several years ago, I think when I was there for a NASCAR race, they had an iRacing racing rig there, and I thought it was the cool thing ever. I didn't even know it was something that you could actually purchase and play at like your own house. But I remember it, seeing it, and be yeah. like, "Wow, that was so realistic!" Like, and that was six years ago, maybe five, six years ago. Oh, they uh, have it where you I'm can a- crawl in the car. I want to say they have actual cars, like because I it, it, there's a place called NASCAR Speed Park in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and they have like a room. There. You were there. Do, do they still have the room where they have the stock cars and you can get in them and play the game and drive? Yep. yep. Dude, incredible! I've always wanted one of those my whole life. I, did they still have the Dale Earnhardt one? Like the shell of a NASCAR? Like yeah, it's literally, it's, it's literally, literally the shell the NAS- of Goodrich. The they have a hall. They have at the NASCAR Hall of Fame. They do that too. Sorry, I don't know. I didn't mean to point, but yeah, yeah, basically that shell, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Got a shout out to uh, the Dales. Two Dales. There's two Dales just duking it out on the track. 
We love it. All right. So uh, before before we get going, this has been some awesome stuff. And like I said, everybody that watches this, you need to be on the lookout if you're going to a NASCAR race. It doesn't matter where you are. Racetrack Rob is probably there. So you need to follow Racetrack Rob for sure. And we'll give out his handle. Um, what what is there any new promotions going on at Shitty Coolers right now? Is there anything that you guys are doing that you want to talk about? You got a promo code for the garage fam that you can give out? Uh, yeah, I saw the I Patriots. Can, I, can one. I don't have one. Yeah, I was gonna say we I, I can get one set up, but we uh we got the new backpacks coming out, G one bags. Yeah, four different designs of those, and, and we also have bucket coolers. So if you have a five gallon bucket, there's an insert that we sell. You slip it into a five gallon bucket, and it makes it a cooler. So those things are dope as hell. Are you now who's yeah. who's innovating this stuff? Um, my boss, boss, boss man. He's, He's a bright man. He does it all. He he he, he, he thinks the design, sketches it out, gets all this setup of it of getting it made i i they might have heard but i can't do that I yeah just, i think it's I incredible think though because like what it's, i think what the brand does awesome. is yeah the the brand itself has shown me it, it reminds me of like when i like if you're a kid growing up in the country and you don't you, you know you're not gonna go if my me and my grandpa he wasn't gonna go pay 30 dollars for an igloo ice chest at walmart he was gonna get a bucket and pour ice in it and he was going to like take it with him in the boat. And so it's like yeah. that type of mentality exists in a product now. So it's just nostalgic as hell, you know, for the poor country folk out here. And also it's just cool as shit for people that have just never seen stuff like that. Cause there are tons of yeah. people that have no idea about that life. So I think it's yeah. awesome. So that's cool stuff. We'll get some stuff set up for sure. Everybody go check out shitty coolers. If you have never heard of them, you're, you probably haven't been listening to us for a long time or you are either just completely neglected in life. So do that. Uh, be sure to go follow racetrack. Rob, Rob, where can the garage fan follow you at? Uh, racetrack underscore Rob on Instagram. Um, I don't, I don't have Twitter, but I also I have Facebook. So either one of those. And obviously, if you follow Shitty Coolers, Shitty underscore Coolers on Instagram and Shitty Coolers on Facebook. That's obviously, it. Like I, I'm Racetrack as well. Rob. Racetrack Rob has got to get on Twitter. Twitter. You got to get on Twitter, Racetrack Twitter. Twitter, Rob. Yeah, I've, I've, I've had a lot of friends want me to get on there. I just, I just, haven't, just haven't got on it. I mean, I read Twitter. I just don't have an account. Could we could we make you could we make you one? Could we be your Twitter your Twitter uh your Twitter help guide your con, your Twitter connoisseur uh management will be your Twitter management. I was gonna say yeah, I would need man, I would need management because I probably wouldn't run it. So. Okay, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll we'll figure this out. We'll get this open. going. Race yeah. track, Rob. I, uh, I can be under your I can be under your tag for that. I don't know. Figure we'll it do out. it. I'll just start a segment on my, on my Twitter account. Where's racetrack Rob today? And just you'll always be at places that aren't a racetrack unless it's Sunday. So I'm gonna be like, every place that you are at will become a racetrack. Sunday, yeah. How incredible yeah. would that be? You be in a grocery store. Racetrack Rob is this grocery store is now a racetrack. Yeah, so Kroger, Kroger Speedway. Get in the buggy and just yeah, just rip the top, dude. That's the way. All right. Well, good stuff, man. Dude, thanks for joining us on Garage Talk. We'll be seeing you. And uh, and again, Garage Fam, you heard where to follow the man at racetrack underscore Rob. Instagram is probably the best place you can reach him at. You know where to follow us at uh, at Garage Guy Chase at Dale Tanhart. And uh, this has been Garage Talk. We'll uh, we'll see you again to get you ready for the race at Richmond this weekend. We're going to Richmond. Going to Richmond, Virginia. We're back. No e-racing. Back to the short track, baby. Back, back to, to the, the short track. track. Short track style. All right, racetrack, Rob. We'll see you, man. Thanks. Thanks for Thank having me. Thank you, Rob. <laughs>